Generally, asphalt consists of three components. Firstly, minerals, which are different aggregates. Secondly, filler, meaning stone dust. And lastly, bitumen, which is used as a binder. The amount and relation of every component depends on the asphalt recipe. To ensure an homogeneous mixture of all components, a suitable preparation is essential. Mineral is the first component. Let's look into our cold feed system first. Here the minerals are stored. The different aggregates are grouped by size and shape conformity in hoppers. Next, the minerals are dried and heated in the dryer drum. Then, the elevator transfers the mineral to the highest point of the mixing tower. The material slides through a chute onto the screen machine, which separates the aggregates into different sizes. They are then stored in the hot bin section and available for further processes. The mineral is ready to be used. The second asphalt component is the so-called filler. The filler is stored in filler silos and available for the mixing process. The filler is also ready to be used. Let's have a look at the last component, bitumen. The bitumen is delivered at 160 degrees C and stored in preheated bitumen tanks to maintain the temperature. In general, asphalt mixing plants consist of several bitumen tanks in order to be able to provide recipe-related mixtures. These bitumen-filled tanks are used to supply the mixing process. The bitumen is now ready. It is transferred through a pipeline to a scale within the mixing section. The complete raw materials are now available and may be weighed and mixed. According to the chosen recipe, the preset mineral amount drops from the hot bit section into the mineral scale. Simultaneously, the filler is transported from the filler silo into the filler scale. The same applies to the bitumen. The bitumen is directly transferred from the bitumen tank to the scale. All components drop from the scales into the mixer. Mineral first, followed by the filler and lastly, the bitumen. The mixing cycle lasts up to 45 seconds. Subsequently, an homogeneous mixture of asphalt is ready for use. The asphalt is stored in hot storage silos until it's required. From there, it's loaded onto trucks and may be delivered to construction sites all over the country.